boys and girls. Welcome to Buckeye Wars. Got another story for you. <clears throat> Growing up in uh, El Dorado Hills, California, uh, Buckeye Wars is a series I'm doing uh, talking about what it was like growing up in El Dorado Hills, California, back in the 70s and the 80s. Now, way back when I was younger, uh, in the early 70s when we moved to, to uh, El Dorado Hills, California, um, I was probably seven, maybe eight. And uh, the question I have for you is, how much did you get from the Tooth Fairy? And the reason I ask is I was listening to my local radio station and uh, they were talking about that. And one listener chimed in and said that uh, they had given their kid 20 bucks. And I'm like, 20 bucks? What the hell? Is there is there an email address where I can get a hold of the, the Tooth Fairy? Because uh, she owes me some money. Because I used to get a dime. A bright, shiny dime. And uh, quite frankly... At seven years old, back in the early 70s, a dime, pretty good. Because I can remember I could get two bazooka bubble gum or two uh, Twizzler twists for a penny. I could get a comic book for a dime. I could get one of them great big, I mean jumbo size uh, candy bars. Uh, and I really liked the uh, Three Musketeers. You could get that for a nickel. Um, heck, you could get a big old bottle of soda pop for, God, I think it was maybe a quarter. I forget. Anyway, what did you get for a tooth from the Tooth Fairy? Put it under your pillow after you lose it, and in the morning you reach underneath there, and by golly, there's something. I used to get a dime. And even crazier yet, huh, my mom must have had some kind of a connection with the Tooth Fairy because when I was moving her uh, to a new location, uh, going through our stuff and so forth, I came across a little pill bottle. That damn thing was stuffed full of teeth. I took it to her and says, what's this all about? She says, oh, I saved all of the teeth from you and your brother when you would lose teeth. What? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I guess parents do that because I've asked around and uh, some of the other parents uh, have done it as well. So maybe my mom isn't as nuts as I thought she was. But a whole bottle of teeth, my teeth, my brother's teeth. What are you going to do? Um, construct a mouth again? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> kind of weird. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Buckeye Wars. Stick with the series. I've got loads of stories of what it was like growing up in El Dorado Hills, California, back in the 70s and the 80s. Bye-bye.